Hi, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Dorothy, professional astrologer. You can find me on the web at nhastrologer.com. Classes, mentorship programs, readings, and other stuff. <laughs> Come to my website and check it out. I would love to see you there. Today, I want to talk about the full moon lunar eclipse on February 10th. It is at 22 degrees of Leo. Now, this is in the, you know, it's our first eclipse of the year, and there's always two in a row. So there'll be another one uh, in a couple weeks on February 26th. The one we have on February 20, on February 10th, is all about this energy of Leo. Since the full moon is in the sign of Leo, we know full moons are a culmination of everything that's being built. We get to see everything we've been building up until this point and since we are lined up and it creates um, a very big a very big draw on the planet a very big pull on the planet between the sun the moon and the earth so this cre always creates a lot of um, energy and a lot of shifts and changes and movement and there is no doubt about it we can see that turn the news all you have to do is turn the news on your your facebook feed you're like me been unfollowing a lot of people right now just because they can't take all of the news that's going on. It's overwhelming because people are taking these things very, very personally. And I understand, I understand, really. Um, people will take these things personally. But when the moon is in the sign of Leo and we have a president that has a Leo ascendant and Mars and Leo on the ascendant, this eclipse conjuncts that. And the one we also, another eclipse in, in uh, August will also conjunct his ascendant. And what all of this means is, is that we are seeing every single one of us now knows what Leo energy is all about in its rawest form, all right? So if you see somebody that is reflecting back to you, whether it's the president or friends or acquaintances, too much ego energy, too much drama, too much... Um, tension too much stress then this is what this eclipse in full moon is supposed to show you all right now what do you do about it i mean i'm not saying it's good or bad it just is what it is because there's no way to avoid this energy right now so i want you to look at your own life and what's irritating you and so if again if you have people places or things are irritating you and bothering you then unfollow turn it off and do what you can to remove yourself from the things that are creating too much stress in your life we do all have free will so i'm not saying we're denying what's going on i'm just saying take a break all right this eclipse is going to make the energies intense as it keeps building and building so i want you to take a break now that sounds pretty doggone ominous doggone i never say doggone <laughs> <laughs> I say other words that are swear words. It's pretty ominous, right? And so what else can we do with this? Because so here's the good pieces. Here's some really wonderful pieces. Leo is creative. Leo is generous. Leo is passionate and determined in the things that they want to create. So be that, be that determined person, be that passionate person, not the person who's coming and coming out with their fists of fighting as because of the ego has been wounded. Don't do that. Come out with where am I passionate? What cause do I want to put my heart behind? The sun is an, is an Aquarius, which is all about what cause am I ready to stand up for? So this is a period where on a very big grand scale, we can see what's going on where causes and worldviews and world issues are becoming very, very personal to us. And so we step into this Leo energy of this eclipse, this full moon eclipse on February 10th, and then we become more loving, more creative, more passionate and more determined about the world we want to create. And this is what we can do with this. All right. That's it in a nutshell. Now, I have a full forecast written right on my website. So please come there, nhastrologer.com, and click on the forecast tab, and you can read the forecast for this eclipse because there's a, a three page report written there on that too. And it'll be on Facebook and it's all over the place. But the cool thing is is like we have this amazing pattern in the sky at the time of the eclipse at least here in uh, new england i'm in new england and it's a star of david i'll put a picture up with the video 
it's a star of David, a six-pointed star of David, also known as a grand sextile, which means not every planet, but almost every planet is connected to this eclipse. And it creates this six-pointed star in the wheel. And again, I'll put that, video, that uh, picture up of the chart with just the uh, sextiles and the trines and uh, the oppositions. You can see it. It's just such a beautiful thing. What does that mean? I know that's astrology. Um, it just, it means that everybody is connected. The sextiles are easy energy because sextiles create, are, are connecting the zodiac signs as every other zodiac sign. And so these ones are the masculine ones and they're all about being, uh, stepping out and taking action and taking charge of something. So we all as a collective can step out and take charge of something. All right. I'm going to leave you with that. Please come to my website, nhastrologer.com. I do. I am a mentor for other people learning to be astrologers themselves. I've been doing this for 30 years, so I have a lot of skills on my on my uh, on my table, on my on my desk, right? So come and check that out too. And also share this, subscribe. I put up a video, put two, three, four every month. I put up a, quite a few. So subscribe to the channel. You'll be notified when I put up new videos. Share this wherever you can. Just hit the share link at the bottom here if you're on YouTube and come and see me um, on my website and uh, comment and post everything that you need to below on YouTube. All right. Thank you guys so much. And um, don't forget nhastrologer.com and blessings. Namaste.